best way that I know how to make money is online, which means now I have to deal with haters who can't just snark normally. Slings. It looks like the resilient Jenkins are gonna have to wait a ding dong minute because this mad mama has posted an update. Sort of. Now, last we spoke, Veronica had finally had her hysterectomy at the beginning of October, which she framed as one of the remaining obstacles to overcome when it came to her physical health and well being, stating that she planned to get a job after she'd recovered from her surgery. And yes, I plan on getting a more typical job also. Um, I did just have a hysterectomy. Along with getting a job, she planned to continue making money through social media. However, despite insisting that social media is her job and a important way for her to make money for her family. You know, and for the people who are like, you haven't done anything, you haven't been doing anything. Yes, I have. That's why I keep posting videos. <laughs> That's why I make vlogs. I'm doing what I need to do to be able to afford to get the kids home. Veronica's uploads have been sparse to non-existent. Her last upload to YouTube was her hysterectomy vlog on October 9th. Her Instagram is at least two weeks out of date. Her threads are bare, with her TikTok being really the only place that she's been active in recent weeks. And even then, it's been a trickle at best, as Veronica hasn't been going live at all, let alone posting content for her paying TikTok subscribers. This decline in content and upload frequency has resulted in people wondering if maybe something had happened regarding the kids and CPS, like this post from Reddit today. So it was completely unsurprising to me that after this post was made on Reddit, that Veronica finally posted an update and... It's probably the most significant update that we've had in a while. And that's not saying much, as Veronica has finally been given a court date to determine whether or not her house will be condemned, which she says is a month away. Oh, I did want to let you guys know that I got my court date for the roof being condemned or whatever, the, the house being condemned because of the roof. So it's like a month away. So, I mean, that does give me some hope. So presumably early December, right? before Christmas. Hooray! <sighs> As for her social media uploads, Veronica said that she does have stuff to post, but that she's just been really stressed out. I know I haven't been posting. Um, I have a lot of stuff I can post. I've been really stressed out. Gee, I wonder why. And that October kind of got away from her. I know I didn't get to finish the things that I had planned. I had so much stuff planned for October and I was depressed and I blinked and October was over and I was like, wait, how, what, how's October over? Wait, I didn't even put out decorations. Like, I'm not ready. Wait, bring it back. I'm not ready. Veronica also mentioned that someone had suggested that she sell her bus, AKA her only means for transportation at this time. One suggestion someone uh, gave me was to sell the bus. And I'm like, well, that's impossible. It's my only vehicle. And that if she sold the bus, she would no longer be able to attend visits with her children currently in foster care. I mean, it'll suck. It'll mean that I can't go on visits because I won't have a vehicle anymore. But if I get the house taken care of, the kids will be home sooner. So like, I'm like, ah, okay, um, it's a really hard decision. However, she noted that if selling her bus meant that she could get the funds to fix her roof faster, it might be worth it. But then I'm like, you know, 
If I can get enough money from selling the bus to fix the roof, I can just get another vehicle later. Because she really doesn't want to lose her house. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's just going to make things harder, but if I don't want to lose my house, so I might actually have to do that. As for the roof fun, it, it's not going well. Currently, her GoFundMe has stalled at around $1,600, $1,700. We also don't know if Veronica ever formally got a quote for her roof. But now, now that I know that they can at least get the roof fixed up, up to code for about seven, you know, give or take, I feel a little bit more confident that I can stay here and gradually fix it up. With the last real update on that being in this TikTok from October 14th, where Veronica said that someone had DM'd her about a roofer they knew who was supposedly willing to do the job for $3,000, but that person never got back to her apparently, so. Hey guys, no real update but about the roof, but someone did message me and say that, um, they knew someone who could probably fix my roof for 3000 but then they didn't get back to me. So I'm still kind of hoping they get back to me because that would be freaking amazing. I could have that in like no time. Interestingly though, later in this same video, Veronica would state that she was hoping to get in touch with another roofer who would give her a quote, had to fall over Barbie, who would give her a better price. Um, so there's no real big update, just hoping to get in touch with another roofer that can give me a better price so I can get this taken care of. And since we're on the subject, I also want to remind you, Curselings, that Veronica was first notified about her roof and her house possibly being condemned back in July, and that she has known about the roof needing repairs the entire time. <laughs> I, that's me shaking. So in my mind, there is absolutely no good reason for why she still hasn't gotten a proper quote yet, because I'm pretty freaking sure she hasn't. Especially when it means that her family could be facing homelessness in the winter, no less. In this video, Veronica also said that she was still hoping to raise more money and that she was also hoping to secure a rental to move into while the house is getting sorted. Hoping to raise a little bit more money, still hoping to find a rental so we can move somewhere else in the meantime while the house gets fixed. As of today, we still have no concrete updates on whether she ever managed to sign a lease or not, so question marks. And we also got some insight into Veronica's financial situation because Veronica says that she's still without food stamps. I get more money later in the month, but I'm probably gonna need that for groceries because I'm not getting food stamps right now. Meaning that Veronica and her kids, the other kids, not the four little ones, but the nine to 10 year old and up have effectively been without them since August. We get food stamps and we were supposed to recertify last month, but I was like, I don't know what I'm doing because the situation with the kids. Um, so I'm just gonna have to reapply. So I'm just gonna go do that, I guess. However, the reason behind why she still isn't receiving food stamps has changed. As when folks asked her why she didn't have food stamps, Veronica said it was because the social worker wouldn't accept screenshots of her social media income, which is not the reason she gave back in August. Back then, it was because she didn't feel like it because she was too overwhelmed or whatever. I have the sum summer cards for the kids, so that's like, almost 400 food stamps, which is cool because I didn't even apply for them this month. So, which I know I was supposed to, but I've been really stressed out. So because of that, some of her social media revenue at the end of October would be going towards groceries. As she says, her TikTok payout around mid-October was projected to be about $2,000. Um, my next payout is tomorrow and it's only gonna be like a little over 2,000. That's my TikTok payout. Um, I get more money later in the month, but I'm probably gonna need that for groceries because I'm not getting food stamps right now. And that she still had to get caught up on her taxes. 
but I gotta get caught up on my taxes and stuff, so I wanna do that first. Otherwise, she said, trying to get her roof fixed would be pointless. Because if I don't get caught up on my taxes, then there's no point in getting the roof fixed. Which, yeah, yeah, it would be. Pay your taxes. In fact, concerns over money must have been weighing quite heavily on Veronica in October, because in this October 18th update, she spoke about selling her furniture and pretty much anything that she could think of. So I think I'm just gonna sell like everything that I have to try to get the money to get the roof fixed. But I keep thinking like, what do I not sell? Including the beds of the children currently in foster care to try and scrounge up the necessary funds. I'm gonna probably sell the kids beds um, because they don't really need those specific beds. Of course, Veronica was not willing to entertain the idea of selling the giant pumpkin headed skeleton in their front yard because that belongs to her second youngest child in foster care, obviously. I can't sell Shorty because I already gave that to Marvelous and I can't sell the pumpkin skeleton outside because that's Donnie's. Which at the time Veronica had justified the purchase of, her son was still receiving his cancer treatments as a way to cheer him up or something. By the way, I cannot imagine justifying a 12 foot tall pumpkin statue, which is about $400 Canadian over the needs of my family to the detriment of my children. It's giving, I won't sell my PS5 to buy my kids a bunk bed. Anyway, in this video, Veronica also mentioned that she was helping her oldest son, Adam, the one still living at home, with finding a job. I don't know. I'm going to talk to Adam about it because he can help me. I'm going to see if I can help him get everything he needs in order so he can get a job. And that she was finally starting to feel well enough to start job hunting herself. Ooh la la. I'm feeling way better. I can probably start looking for a job now. Then Veronica got quiet in that she wasn't really giving any significant updates about what was going on until today, which was for the most part a nothing burger with a side of court date. What I find perplexing about this is that if her family currently relies on her social media income to just survive. I'm like one TikTok video away from not being able to afford that. You know, one video does or doesn't do well and it makes all the difference in the world. Like last month, uh, my TikTok, one video made half of the money that I made for the whole month. One video. So, I mean, it is scary. Why the hell isn't she posting? Why hasn't a fire been lit under her ass yet? Because at best she'll come onto TikTok and she'll moan about what she needs to do and ask her audience for tips or suggestions and support and links to things she could do and then nothing. Crickets. No identifiable progress or change outside of her getting some therapy or having some surgery. It's gotten to the point where I feel like Veronica has no intention of actually taking meaningful action when it comes to her living situation and her children and like lifting them up out of poverty and only pops onto TikTok to use it for views, to farm for sympathy and to sad fish and to grift. Keep in mind, I understand that she was sick in June. I've read her hospital papers. I never doubted that she wasn't ill. I never thought that. And I understand that she was recovering, that she's just fucking finally started therapy in the last month and a half, two months, and that she had surgery only a couple of weeks ago. I understand that those would have impacted her ability to resolve this problem to a degree. I get it. I do. I'm, I'm not unsympathetic to that, despite the snarky tone. There's empathy here under the frustration. If anything, that's why there is frustration. It's because there's empathy. I know, crazy, what? It's the fact that as of this update, November 5th, 2024, election day in the United States, which not my circus, not my clowns, Veronica has still not arrived at a concrete strategy as to how she's going to raise the money to save her house or even what she needs to do to make that happen. She literally said in her update today that she has a couple weeks to kind of decide whether or not she wants to sell her bus. So I got a couple weeks to decide um, if I'm gonna do that. It's a really, really hard decision. Like I said, it's the only vehicle I have. What? 
These are things, strategizing, trying to figure out how to solve this, laying down an action plan of what she needs to do to make it friggin' happen. These were things she could have easily done from her bed as all she needed was a phone and an internet connection. But she certainly had no problem going out with her friends, hanging out with her maybe boyfriend who was totally hallucination. She had ample opportunities to go see friends and socialize and whenever at no point in the last July, August, September, October, and now November, has Veronica come onto her platform and said definitively, okay, I called the roofers and I got a quote. This is exactly what it will be to fix X, Y, and Z. And I need to raise X amount of money, ideally by this date, so work can start so that I can get my babies home. Nope, instead, nothing. Instead, she has repurposed her GoFundMe like three times, switching from raising money for the roof to we need money to find housing to whatever the frig we're doing now. Meaning she hasn't actually taken concrete, actionable steps that would require her to commit to a freaking solution. She just talks a bunch about it and farms out ideas to her audience and then does nothing. And now, what a shocker, she's facing down the barrel of a court date where she very well could lose her house and need to relocate to somewhere, who knows, she sure doesn't, in a month. In winter, with Christmas shopping and expenses also looming, which I'm assuming she won't be doing either, that there won't be a Christmas for those kids this year. I don't know, maybe Stephanie Jenkins can send her some of the stuff she got from her Amazon wish list. It's, it's just, it's crazy to me. It's crazy. You. Veronica are the person those kids currently rely on. Not the ones in foster care, the other ones. The ones you're not that concerned about actually parenting or being present for emotionally while you fix your mental health and recover and whatever. It's so weird not having the babies at home because um, the older kids can just kind of do things for themselves. Like get their own sandwiches and whatever. So it almost feels like there's not enough people home for me to even cook. I kind of laughed about that to myself because I was like, wait, I've still got like six kids at home, which, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of funny. I've got six kids at home and I'm like, gosh, there's not enough people at home for me to cook dinner. I don't, <laughs> I guess I probably could still cook. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not surprised that we're now in November and Veronica still has no idea what it will cost to fix her fucking roof, especially when quotes are literally free. It's just baffling. It's baffling. It's baffling to me that you can get up onto the internet, you can get up on your platform, you can link your GoFundMe and say, please help us, please sir, can you spare some coins sir? But you can't even fucking tell us what the coins are for. You can't even say, this is what we're doing, this is what I need, these are the things. It's just all like ephemeral problems that you haven't even tried to fix. And frankly, if she wasn't so frail looking, I'd shake her. I'd shake her and be like, goop wake up because this is so beyond learned helplessness at this point. At this point, this is intentional self-sabotage or just outright self-destruction, dealer's choice because I don't know what else to call it. So yeah, yeah, I guess I'm a little annoyed. We knew the court date was coming. We knew it was coming and people have been literally throwing themselves at her in DMs, in comments, in support. There has been a massive outpouring of support. She has like almost a hundred, if not more subscribers on TikTok who are willing to pay the ridiculous, I don't know what it is, like three to five dollars or whatever it is. But then nothing. She does nothing. Anyways, what do you guys think? <laughs> what are your thoughts? Let me know or don't. I don't know. But yeah, I guess we're gonna see what happens in December. Maybe there'll be a Christmas miracle and the house won't get condemned. She'll get another extension. Guess we'll see. Anyway, that's it for me. I want to thank everyone for liking, commenting, and subscribing with a big, big thank you to all 5,000 of you. Just thank you so much for subscribing and watching and supporting me over the last two years of craziness. I really appreciate all of you. Seriously, I do. Like, thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking it out with me. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!